What's the easiest way to update to Windows 11? Let's exactly get into that. You might not see the update yet on the update app of your system, but do not worry, this method will work on every PC running Windows 10. Also your data will not be deleted by this method, however for safety you should have a backup of your important documents on a separate drive as precaution. First go to this link and download the Windows 11 installation assistant from the official Microsoft site. Click on download now and open the application. Now here you might see this error, your PC doesn't meet the minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. Do not worry, if you have a fairly modern system, this is a non-issue. I would show exactly how you can fix it easily. It will work on both AMD and Intel based systems. To know the exact issue, I would suggest to install one more application from Microsoft called PC Health Check App. I will provide direct links for it as well in the description box so it becomes easier for you. Install the PC Health Check App and open it now. At the very top, you will see the blue box saying check now, click on it. Here we see the problem, it is TPM 2.0, we need to enable TPM 2.0 in our BIOS to proceed. So let's go to the BIOS. Restart your PC and keep pressing the delete or F2 key until you enter BIOS. For Gigabyte motherboards, it is the delete key and F2 for Asus. You can keep pressing both if you are not sure about your BIOS key. For my motherboard, this is located inside peripherals, AMD CPU, FTPM and change the value from disabled to enabled and save restart. After logging into your PC, if you open the update assistant directly, you might see the error as before. For that, close the app and open the PC Health Check app and click on the check now to confirm if the changes are registered and detected. If you have correctly done all the steps, you should see the green check. You can now proceed with the update. Now open the update assistant and click accept and install it will start downloading the update wait till it finishes the downloading and installation you can keep using your pc during this stage and it can take a few hours in the process after it finishes installing just click on restart your pc will restart to windows 11 enjoy If you do not like the new update for whatever reason and want to go back to Windows 10 after updating, it can be done very easily as well. I will put up the video in description as well as on the cards. You can check that out as well for help. Please leave a like and subscribe my channel. It will really motivate me. If you need any help on this topic, please feel free to comment down your queries below. We will try to solve it together. Have a good day.